And lastly, we're just going to put some transmission assembly lube on the pump o-ring. And the bearing race. We've also held on with grease. And that's it. Your pump is done. Next, we're going to move on to this next bag of parts, marked overdrive clutch pack. We really have two overdrive clutches. We have a overdrive direct and an overdrive brake, which sits in the center support. And this is just about the same as, as what we already did with the uh, direct clutch. The only thing here is, is a whole bunch of different size sealing rings. You have to pick the right ones out. Typically you're using the larger ones on this overdrive brake. To stretch these out a little bit so they don't come out of the groove. We'll just cut to that. <laughs> Kind of hard to do while you're like trying to make it visible. We'll make it invisible. Next, we're going to turn this over. Plastic washer that sits here. We also have a bearing race. It's going to be the one that's perfectly flat. And the same deal with these ceiling rings. Moving on to the forward clutch drum. Same thing with the ceiling rings. These are the three small ones in the kit. Kind of hard to miss. And we're going to kind of gently put them in here after we put our Torrington bearing on. You're also going to have to rotate this into the direct clutches as you're putting the drum down. It's easier said than done sometimes.
you hear that nice clicking sound, you know you have it in right. Now we're going to need to take this back over to the press. Same as the last clutch drum. Press it down. And install the snap on. Next, we're going to put our forward clutch pack in. Some models take five, some take seven, some take six. This one is a Toyota Supra, so we're probably looking at the seven disc clutch pack. Now we get our top pressure plate. And our snap plate. Clearance looks a little too loose, so we're going to have to address that by putting a different thickness steel plate in. Okay. As you notice, I'm putting this stuff back together as it goes back into the trans. It's just a, a more organized way of doing things. It's more space efficient, and it gives you two chances to get everything right when you're putting it back together. If there's a mistake, you, you'll see it as you're taking one part out and putting it back into the trans. Same deal with this. I'm going to spline this down into clutches. And you're going to look for that nice solid sound, which means you don't have a clutch hung up and it's down all the way. And you guys are probably going to want to keep these bearings more organized than I do. You know, I kind of know where they go, and, and uh, I could just pick them up out of a pile. But if you're doing these, you probably aren't doing these transes every day. So you want you know, keep everything neat and maybe wire it together with mechanics wire. And, you, you know, you don't want to make a mistake with a bearing because you're going to blow the thing up in about two blocks. Got a couple more rings that go on here. These are metal rings and they hook together. I'm trying to give you a better view of that. When they're installed, you know, have them like that. Plastic washer. And our spray. One thing to note, as we discussed sprag rotation before, 
you'll also notice that the sprag has one short side and one deep side. And this deep side is always going to face up. 